have hurricanes. <laughs> you look like the little man on top of a wedding cake that a bakery would refuse to make for you. <laughs> Will and Grace was really the best you could do. It just... <laughs> just Jack. Just Jack is, uh, it's also what I'm gonna do in my hotel room alone after sitting next to Blake Griffin all night. Jesus Christ. You're so hot, what the fuck? You're so hot. I'd fuck you in front of my grandparents. I, that's how, I almost want to, you know? I feel like Mimi would be proud. Blake, you look like a black guy that got made by a printer running out of ink. That's. <laughs> Chris Red is here because Comedy Central wasn't sure if Blake was black or not. <laughs> you look great, Chris. Uh, you always dress like a nine-year-old who just found $1,000 on the sidewalk. <laughs> At this point, like, what can you say about Jeff Ross that he hasn't heard before? It's like, uh, oh, I respect you. Um, you look nice tonight. Um, here's your salad, sir. Stuff like that, okay. Jeff, you look like if Popeye only ate Popeyes. <laughs> Checks out. No, Jeff, no. <laughs> Don't break the couch. Your face. Your face has a dad bod. Let's. <laughs> Jeff gets really hot girls, and I just, I don't, how do you get tens? Teens, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. How do you get, you have the sex appeal of a gymnastics doctor. I just don't understand. <laughs> Robert De Niro is here. <laughs> Looking like Alf. Uh, I can't even believe I, I get to share this stage with you tonight, Robert De Niro. And, and by this stage, I mean the final one of your life. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't feel right about any of this. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, I just want to thank you for all you've done for the trans movement and the size 16 stiletto industry. <laughs> you are such an incredible athlete. People forget just how fast you once ran from your first family to go be on a reality show. <laughs> Seriously though, I know being a new mom is hard. But even Casey Anthony knows the current location of her daughter. Thank you. You're a Republican. I don't know why. You've already gained control over a woman's body. <laughs> what does that party have to do to lose your support? Uh, be your son? <laughs> Caitlin, I, I know you've only publicly identified as a woman for a few years, but I just want you to know that I know that deep down you have always been a c And, uh... <laughs> I spell it with a K, though, for you. <laughs> You're great, thank you. You're great. Alec Baldwin, what an honor to be here roasting Justin Bieber's wife's oldest, fattest uncle. It's like... <laughs> I'll never forget that voicemail um, that when you called your daughter Ireland a, a thoughtless little pig. Um, uh, it's gotta be one of the worst things you can call your daughter. After Ireland, actually, that's, <laughs> that name, yikes. Speaking of terrible names, your wife's name is Hilaria. Is it Hilaria, Hilar it's Hilaria? Ilaria. It's Hilaria. Uh, Ilar Ilaria? Oh, it's so stupid. Okay, uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter, she's so hot. Dude, she's so hot and fit. Does getting screamed at burn calories? You have four kids under the age of six. I just, how do you do it? I mean, isn't your semen just oatmeal at this point? 
Oh, Robert just got excited when I said oatmeal. He started salivating. <laughs> your, your night nurse is warming it up backstage. It'll be ready in the break. I'm such a fan of the Baldwins. I've never been so sure that four people have buried a hooker together. <laughs> In all seriousness, I want to thank Alec. Um, in his memoir, he bravely admitted that he had once considered suicide. And I just want to say that I, that meant a lot to me because I have also considered your suicide. And I have some ideas. <laughs> I even know what I'm going to wear. Alec, thank you so much for having me here tonight. Thank you. You are fucking funny. The comedy